Hi there and welcome to Jay's Toy Collection UK for another action figure video. And ladies and gentlemen, it's my birthday! Yes, it actually is my birthday. Today I turn 37 years old. At least I think I do. So hit that like button for my birthday. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications by tickling that notification bell for when the next video goes up. So, let's do a birthday haul video. Now, spoilers, a lot of these figures are not actually from my birthday, because everybody bought me bubble bath, because apparently I smell. But we've got plenty of toys to go through for the last few weeks, so we're going to do a traditional toy haul video, but we're going to mix it up a little, because we're going to do it from all sorts of different rooms of the house. So it's like a mini house tour and a toy haul video. So here we go, three Two, one, let's have a look at them toys. Right then, we've moved downstairs to start off off into a sort of Mezco Mondo area and the Mafex area, the Triple M area. And it's all changed behind me, but we'll get to that in a future video. So we'll start it off big, because thanks to Comic and Cocktails in the UK, they have come through with the Days of Future Past Deluxe Edition Hot Toys Hugh Jackman Wolverine figure. So... Been looking forward to this one for a while from Hot Toys. It's going to be a really nice display, sort of in his classic sort of 1960s get-up. So I'll get that one in the collection as soon as I can. And it's a grail piece here then. So this is the Mondo Batman the Animated Series timed edition of Mr. Threes. And my goodness, since day one of becoming a Mondo collector have I been after this figure. So it's been an eBay pickup. Not the cheapest figure I've ever got. I was winning the auction at quite a good price until about the last 16 seconds. And my God, did that thing jump at the end. But managed to get the deluxe edition, including the tombstone of Nora Freeze herself. So very happy to get one because that pretty much gets me now 100% on Mondos when it comes to Batman, X-Men and already for Spider-Man. So the Mondo collection is going well. So in case you wanted to see what it looks like then, there is Mr. Freeze in the Mondo Cube. And looking, looking very cool, you could say. Right, the next pickup is so big, well, I'm going to have to film it on the floor. So as you can see here, another grail for me, I finally own an 8080 from the Star Wars 3 and 3 quarter inch line. So he's just chilling there with his mate Galactus who has been pulled out of the cabinet because as you will see... The Mondos have now come down here. So Marvel Legends Galactus will be going for the first time ever in the Marvel Legends collection. But I managed to pick this one up on eBay for less than £80, which is an absolute bargain. It's pretty mint for a, for its age. I think it's from the Saga collection is the version from Endor. So that will be going in my Star Wars display. I've been wanting an 8080 for absolutely years but getting one at a reasonable price and it isn't yellowed has always proved very tricky so very pleased to uh, pick this one up and we've moved section again on this house tour slash haul video for my birthday and as you can see behind me we've made it to the hot toys section but it's not a hot toy i've got here this is a very very unusual pickup i was thinking to myself i need something to make the power rangers super 7 display pop and i think this is it so here we have then the old school 1993 Command Center playset, or at least part of it. But there, there's Zord on there looking pretty cool. Oh, now I had this as a kid. So to eventually own it again as an adult, I was pretty excited. I managed to pick it up for about £40 on eBay, which again I thought wasn't too bad, considering complete versions go for quite a bit of money here in the UK. But this will make a nice backdrop for my Power Rangers display, if it will fit. And I did measure it, and by one millimeter, and I'm not joking, literally one millimeter, it fits in the collection shelf. So that will be coming again in a future video as I redo the Power Rangers collection, but this time with a playset. By the power of Skull, I have the power. So, it's a He-Man pickup, so it is the Talon Fighter. Now, if you're watching this week in Toys a few weeks ago, this was one that Cheeky Monkey did a random unboxing of, but it's been down in the living room since, so that does need to get in a He-Man collection, but I do have the Talon Fighter from Masters of the Universe Origins. Now, sticking with Masters of the Universe Origins, Mattel Creations have come through, 
And the Skycone there has come through from, as I say, Mattel Creations. As most of these figures are now exclusive to Mattel Creations. So really cool packaging on this one. That's going to be a fun figure, I think, to open. So their price has gone has gone up a bit. And you've got to pay that £9 shipping per item from Mattel Creation. That, quite frankly, is a bit annoying. But I still am a big fan of Origins. So glad to add this one to the collection. Let's make it a Masters triple header. Because here comes Teela and trap jewel then so they've got these over from big bad toy store for the line that i don't collect remember i don't collect masters of the universe cartoon collection um yeah seems i do collect masters of the universe cartoon collection so they've uh, they've joined a new shelf and as you can see we're back in the toy room for this purchase so here we have a recent trip to worlds apart in birmingham i managed to pick up a tombstone from the Marvel Legends Spider-Man retro line. So it's a pretty cool suited figure. Seems like this one was quite slow to come to the UK. A lot of the other figures from this wave came, but not this one. So I've managed to finally get myself a tombstone. Bright, brightest day. You do the rest. Here it comes. Oh yeah, it's toddy time, maybe. It's Kilowog and Kyle Rayner Green Lantern 2-pack. All the way from Amazon.com, because this was an Amazon.com exclusive. Props and replicas, I think, had some UK pre-order stock, but that sold out in about 10 minutes. So I didn't get my hands on that, so I had to do a proper pre-order with Amazon.com. So a little bit pricey, I'm having to import this one in. But I wanted a classic sort of 90s Kyle Rayner Green Lantern, and the first time for Kilowog in the McFarlane Toys line. So Todd has made the whole video, and again, looking forward to getting... This one unboxed. I've got a lot of unboxing to do, it seems, at the moment. So, uh, yeah, wish me luck. And for our final location of the video, then, welcome to the office slash the live stream lounge. So this is what you see behind me on the This Week in Toys live stream. So don't forget to watch those every Friday night, but two weekly. Two weekly for This Week in Toys. And the library has come in here because I moved the Mondos downstairs because it's starting to get hot. I didn't want the Mondos to collapse, so... Uh, We've got the library in here now. But I've been to a galaxy far, far away because I forgot to cancel my Hasbro Pro pre-order. So I ended up paying full price for the C-3PO Battle Droid and the Super Battle Droid 2-pack. Luckily, it's a pretty cool looking 2-pack. So very happy to have it, but probably would have waited for the sale if I was being honest because not the best army builder 2-pack because there's no alternate head which still is a bit annoying for that one there, for the c 3 Brio. But they are doing a Super Battle Droid, of course, in a single pack, so we can army build from there. But that has turned up from Hasbro Pulse. And our final pickup of the video, then, is a Hall of Fun special. So shout out to Uncle Ali, where I picked this up. But here is the Punk Turtles 4-pack, then. So... We've been waiting a long time. They announced this or probably at Comic-Con, didn't they, last year? I think at least at Comic-Con. We've been waiting for this Punk Turtles 4-pack. Turned out it was part of Hall of Fun. But if you saw again our last live stream when I was talking with Tanner, not too bad this year's Hall of Fun. At least they've sorted out international customers with some better shipping rates. But still cheaper to go for Uncle Ali. So here is the Punk Turtle 4-pack. And again, excited to get this one open. And that brings to an end this kind of a birthday haul special edition. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. So let me know what you thought of the toy haul in the comments section below. And just to have another room, we're in the uh, we're in the bathroom. So we're finishing the last one off in the toilet. So here we are. And we've still got Spider-Man in the toilet here. Cheeky Monkey is extremely happy every time she's on the loo looking at Peter Parker. So that is it. I have been Jay. This has been Jay's Toy Collection UK. Please, of course, do like, comment and subscribe as we're on the road now to 2,000 subscribers here in 2024 and i will see you all of course on the next video